Hi guys, it's Hannah and I have a dog on me. Excuse her, I'm just gonna keep talking. So, today I'm doing a Breaches Collection video because I've been meaning to do this for what, ages and ages and ages. So I've decided to do this Breaches Collection video today because I have a free day and I can finally film. I'm sorry I haven't been updating regularly lately because I've just had so much on and I've been putting up more or less more vlogs or just editing more vlogs. I've also got two year 12 subjects which I'm currently trying to pass in so I'm currently doing a lot of that. So I've been editing actually quite a few videos which have not got any relation to my YouTube channel. It's more just filmmaking and for my research project. So I've been doing that sort of thing and not doing YouTube so much. So I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to update every week but Sometimes it's a bit difficult, but I'll try to continue doing it. So I'm going to show you each of my bridges here, and I'm also going to put them on like I did with my America haul. And also there is one pair which you have already seen in my America haul, but you know, you know. So you see I buy from a lot of the same brands, like I usually have at least two pairs of one brand that fits me because I really like them. And I have my favourites, but... Mostly, I only really keep the breeches that 110% fit me because I hate having misfitting breeches and struggling to put them on. So, I'm going to go straight into it. This first pair I have used for ages. They are Spooks. They are probably from about two seasons ago, so I'm not sure where you could get them still. But they are denim Spooks breeches. I'm, I'm hoping they're quite clean, but they might not be. So they've got these two zips on the back which are red and the crest, the spooks crest and also they've got this crown which it's just started fraying because I've worn them so much. These are probably my most worn pair. But they've also got the stretchy bits at the bottom. I think I actually showed these in my 2013 favourites video. I actually got them probably in 2011 though or 2012 I think. So they've got the spooks on the back and I like how these pockets are zip up because then your phone won't fall out even though they're not really quite big enough. I think they need to be a bit bigger and these are not sticky bum. They're not sticky bum breeches so they're a little bit harder to grip on with especially with my saddle which I didn't actually notice but apparently they're really slippery because Emma, <laughs> Emma rode in my saddle and she's like what? This, this saddle is so slippery and I I didn't realise that. Apparently, yeah, my saddle is slippery. And so they've got the spooks on the inner seam. These are quite a new addition. I got these just before I went away to America, I think. These are from actually a sports store which is in Mount Barker, which is like, I don't know, it's a sports store, but now it stocks equestrian clothing too. So these, this is Chocomol, Chocomol Sports. And it, this is actually quite um, big compared to my other ones. I think they're 26 or something. They're apparently US 22. I don't know if that's big or not. Um, but these are really, really comfy. They're probably my comfiest pair just because they're not so tight fitting, but they also fit really nicely. So these are shock. And they've got these, just these tiny little pockets on the back and pockets on the front which actually are pockets so you can actually put your phone in there they're not fake um, they're brown obviously and they've got a sticky bum and I actually really like this they've got these three they've got the same as the um, ones I just showed you these denim ones they all have the kind of three I'm not sure three extra seam thing around the knee which makes it fit so much nicer I tend to think these, unfortunately, this is the only downside of these, have the um, Velcro, which I just am not a fan of because you actually have to do something, whereas I just like throwing them on, whereas these, you have to adjust them and like take them apart and then put them on and then do them up again, and it's just a bit more to do, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm really pleased with these. I like how it's got the two, the two belt, um, belt loops on the back. I really like this. I really like this. These are really dirty and these are probably one of my older pairs here aside from the Swix ones which I showed you. 
These are black, which I'm not actually a fan of black brooches and I haven't worn these in so long. These are Equi theme, I got them from Pad Saddlery, P-A-D-D Saddlery in Paris, I think I got these ones from, um, or the other place that we went, uh, in 2012. So these are not Sticky Bum again, which is a pain. Uh, they've been at the bottom of my drawer for ages, so they've got like hair and stuff on them, which is not ideal for filming, but you know. So they're black obviously, they've got just like these knee patches which aren't actually sticky. Um, they've again got the elastic at the bottom, but they do fit nicely and they do look good when you can pull them off. They're really, really high waisted, as you can probably tell, like they're so wide here um, and <laughs> so wide at the back too. These are size 24 US and Equi theme, which is a French brand. I guess, so I lied, these are probably my oldest ones here, I got these in 2010 I believe, but they've been just not used a whole lot, so they still are in great condition. These are Equistar, no Eurostar, so these are Eurostar, they were actually really very expensive, especially for a beginner when I got them, <laughs> they've got a fitted look, um, and then brown on the sticky bum, which is looks really nice. Uh, they're in really good condition. So someone put a peg on here and so it stretched the fabric a bit, which is a pain. And they've got the Velcro at the bottom and the one pocket, which isn't quite big enough, I tend to think. It's very shallow and no pockets on the back, unfortunately. And brown belt loops. These are, this is size can't even see, <laughs> literally, this is just completely white. I cannot see what size this is. <laughs> but yeah, I was considering selling these, but they do actually fit, so I thought I might as well keep them. This is another pair of black breeches, which I got just before I actually tried Jericho for the first time. I tried him something like September, two th or November 2012, 2012, I tried Jericho. And I was on the way out, so we went past Horseland, and so I thought I would pick up a pair of new breeches. So I got these black Dublin ones. I never used to be a huge Dublin fan, because the first Dublin pair I got, they kind of gradually started falling apart, gradually. So I was like, hmm, not a keen Dublin fan. I, oh, and I also got a pair of their chaps which cracked, which I was like, hmm, not a fan. But then, I got these and suddenly Dublin seems to have suddenly up their game, at least for their breeches, and these are really quite good. I don't use them as I said because black isn't my ideal breeches colour, so I got these. These are R Sticky Bum, which is like, I guess most Australian places have Sticky Bum breeches. But in America, in equitation, I don't think you're allowed to have breeches which have a full seat, so you have to have a sticky knee patch and that's it. So, hello dog, what do you want? Yeah, this is kind of the Australian norm. Can you not? Can you not? Go away! Uh, and they've got the typical Dublin little black thing here. Dublin on the elastic inside and one little pocket which is again quite shallow so you can't really put your phone in there yeah and they were such a cheap pair these were probably i don't know 50 60 or something which is cheap for australian breeches these next pair are also dublin and they are part of the ones that i use for showing although i don't use these that much because i usually just wear them for hacking or other kind of smaller shows. So these are beige Dublin brooches, but they're kids 14 and they fit me really, really nicely. I tend to think there's like one photo where I'm wearing these on Tumblr and it's like I'm walking away with Jerry and it's got so many notes and I'm like, oh, okay, that's a surprise. So they're pretty much exactly the same as the black Dublin ones, except in beige, obviously. And they've got the Dublin on the inside. These are jodhpurs, I think. And I'm not usually one to fit jodhpurs because my legs are rather long. So the bottom bit here 
kind of just, although you don't have to, you know, stick it on, these kind of just fold in my socks or they're like too tight or whatever. So it just doesn't usually suit me, but these I don't mind. I've already showed you these ones in my America haul. These are my carrots. I still absolutely adore these. Whenever I can wear these in clinics and stuff, I'm like, wear the carrots. I love the carrot. So carrots, really, really nice. They're just so thin. They're just a really high quality material. And then the back bit is very thick, but also not. It's kind of just because there's only so much of this sticky bit. And I love how big these pockets are. They're like reasonable to put your phone in so you can actually do that. Whereas lots of other ones you can't. So good on your carrots, keep doing what you do. Now I've been waiting to show you these ones until the end because I really really like these. And these are actually done by a local lady up in Handorf called QJ Riding Wear, or she's not called QJ Riding Wear, but her place is called QJ Riding Wear, and she has so many, so many nice brooches, and they're all just lovely, and she's been bringing out pretty much exactly what people want, so I'm really keen to show you these brooches. The first pair I have here are my first lot that I got, uh, one of my first lots that I got. So these are... I'm not sure the name of the breach because I haven't studied all the names of them, but I love this one. So they're kind of this tweed kind of fabric, or this tweed looking fabric in brown and then the brown on the back. And also they have the, this, the typical elastic at the bottom. And I think these, I'm not sure if she's all sold out of this pair or if they're still on sale. Because if they are on sale, I'm pretty sure they're really, really cheap, like $50 or something like that. So you can go and check that out. And they've got the little pocket here, which is quite shallow, but you can put like, I've got a bobby pin in here, so you can do that sort of thing. And yes, they've got the QJ Riding Wear stretchy bit on the back. This was another one of the first two that I got. So this is really really incredible fabric for the price they feel like pure fabric these are just gray colored and then lightly gray on the back i'm not a huge fan of the looking of like the pockets that invade the seat i guess but i don't mind it on these because they're just i just really like these this pair and they've got really really nice big deep pockets on the front so you can put your phone in and stuff like that and then they've also got the little pocket that you can put smaller like the little coins in or anything like that and they are just the typical they've got QJ on there this is just so soft so soft and thin which is great oops I know I've already gone through some of the QJ ones but I just realized I've got me I forgot my spooks my other pair of spooks so I've showed you these before, I can't remember what video. So these are my bright, bright sky blue spooks breeches, which I got a few months ago or probably six months ago now. And I love these, these are so nice. They look kind of silly on me while I ride, but I just really like the colour. So they've got really nice big deep pockets, which is great. These with a knee, a sticky knee patch, unfortunately. and. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, but it's not a full seat. Really, really long, stretchy, elasticy thing at the bottom for your socks. Two little fake pockets on the back, which look good, but it's a shame you can't use them. But they look good, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, these are in extra small, and the elastic, which has spooks on it. And I love these. I love these brooches. I just realised I don't actually have a pair of my pure white show brooches. I talked about them, however, a few months ago, I think, in my monthly haul. So you can go and look for them. But they are Cavallo and they are, I think, 22 long. And they, you can get them whichever colour you want on the seat and whichever colour you want on the actual breech so they're really good for custom and stuff they're a bit more expensive but they fit really nicely and they're super duper 
thin and nice fabric. This next pair is also a QJ riding pair. She brought these out probably a year ago or so and they are so, so nice. So these are her engine red breeches. They are bright red and they are really, really nice. The great thing about these breeches is they have four really deep and big pockets and they've also got white. They almost look kind of, have like a denim breeches look because they've got white stitching and almost the, the seat is almost a kind of orangey colour, it's full seat obviously and very sticky um, and it kind of has this orange tinge which looks really nice and yes they are my red QJ riding wear fire engine red breeches look very very nice and they have the white socks which are really long which is Perfect, perfect. So I actually have this next pair on me right now. I got these actually yesterday and I haven't worn them properly yet. These are QJ riding wear um, Molly breeches. They are the denim. They are so cool and they've got, oh god, I'm gonna have to lift my leg. Um, oh god, let's not fall over, please. Um, they've got this kind of different patterny thing which looks so nice with the um, really soft fabric, or well, yeah, really soft fabric and stretchy fabric for your socks. They look really, really nice. These are actually quite a bit more high waisted. <laughs> when I was trying them on, I was literally like, "Well, these fit. These feel a little bit tight," and I was like, "Suck in!" And then I realised I had to pull them up so much more because they are high waisted. Got the crest on the back. Looks very, very cool. Yeah. So I'm really, really pleased with these breeches. So nice and soft. And these pockets too. This next pair is actually a demo pair from QJ Rainway. So she hasn't yet ordered them in, but she gave me the size six demo version. So I'm really pleased to show you her up and coming new breech. So these are almost a turquoise color. They look really bright. Blue, love me some blue. Kind of like the Spooks denim breeches, they have the pockets on the back with the zips. And oh, I didn't notice that. They've got a little diamante in the button at the front. So nice. And these pockets are really big, so you can put your phone in them too. And so obviously, they've got this black seat, which looks so good. They've got the really small white stitching or light blue stitching. And then they've got this black stitching across the back here, which looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, the pockets are fake, but that's fine because it just it looks a bit... Sometimes when there's big pockets here, you can see them while you're wearing them. So there's just this big pile of fabric. It's like a tumour in your leg. It's great. And oh, I love this. The sock pit. The sock pit. The sock pit here also has that special design thing so nice and soft incredible and they are full seat sticky bum of course so that is my breeches collection i have a few other pairs which are not here because they're either in the wash or it would take too long to show them and they're not my favorites so i haven't put them in but there's a few others which are also in the wash i've got a dog I got a dog! So just before I go, I thought I would show you this pair which I'm currently selling which are really nice but they just don't fit my figure at all. They're a little bit dirty at the moment because I haven't properly cleaned them again. These are white Equitech snaffle breeches. So they've got the really, really cool snaffle on them at the front here and at the back on one side on the pockets. So. They're also so, so high-waisted and they've got this really, really big belt part here. So you want to wear a big belt with these breeches. And they're sticky bum all the way down and they've got the sock bit at the bottom. They're just, I'm not, I'm a bit too tall for these breeches. They just come up way too high on my leg and they're not, they're a little bit baggy for me so 
I thought I might as well give them to someone who would fit them and they are incredible. So these will I will link in the description to my eBay where I am currently selling these for $80 even though they are I think around 120 and I've only worn them probably two or three times. So if you want to bargain, check out my eBay page for them. There are so it's 24 or I think a lady's eight. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you guys hopefully next week because I want to get back on track on making videos every week. It depends if it is a edit or a sit down and talk to your video, but hopefully you don't mind which it is. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye! Oh my god, I just had the weirdest, what, who was that? I think someone just had the wrong number because I have no idea what that was. I have a dog. And then they've also got the stretchy bitches, bitches, stretchy bitches at the bottom. <laughs> Stella, you're so annoying. <laughs> So, oh my god, this dog. Go.